So you want to get started with an actual pop-up. So pop-up can be a great tool for promotion, collecting emails, sign-ups, or providing important announcements to your visitors. So let's dive into how you can set up this effectively. So let's do this with at this actual uh, website so we can get, can get started totally for free. So the very first thing I wanted to do is to choose a pop-up application, not by first signing it into my actual Shopify dashboard. I'm going to leave you the link down below in the description so we can all get started totally for free. Now that we are inside the actual Shopify, let's choose a actual pop-up application. Because the Shopify does not have a built-in feature of pop-up, so yet what we can do is to use a third-party application. Let's head over to the Shopify app store directly into the little pod, where it says applications. And here what you want to do is to go into the search section. You will see several options including the pop-up applications for pop-up. And now I'm going to go directly into my Shopify app store. So you can see that there's a lot of applications in here. For example, there's a private, you just don't know, the wise pops, and so much more. So what you wanted to do is to look out for an application that can be helping you to get started with. Let's try it out with the Quickify. So I'm going to hit into install. This one should be sending me directly into the administration tool. So I needed to hit into install. So I needed to grant the access. And then we are now inside the Quickify. So here, what you wanted to do after you make the installation of the application for this demonstration is starting the actual Quickify. So it's going to be used for setup and comprehensive features. Click into the application and then hit into add application. You might be seeing here that we have the pin to the navigation bar is going to be helping us to find the application much more faster. Now here, click into the approved installation and potentially agree to the application charges if there is a paid plan. Now in here, as you can see, we have the first campaign. So I'm going to go and create this in a very easy way. So you can find out, first of all, what is the actual pop-up you're actually looking for. In this case, I'm going to go for, let's say, for example, a special offer. So I choose the section that says pop-up and hit now into managed. Now here, it's going to be showing me the new campaign. And I have the collect email or phone. Offer discount coupon, subscribe to show discount, or choose an announcement. So here into the announcement, which is pop-up top up title, what you want to do is to change the title. Now I'm going to change the pop-up description. Now I'm going to change the button text. If you want this to be open into a new tab, you can just enable this. In this case, what you want to do is to choose the button URL. Now let's go, for example, here where it says product. Inside here, I choose my collection and I input the discount code. In this case, it's going to be now, now that we have the actual element to configure the pop-up settings, what you want to do is to make the design of your pop-up. So customize the design of your pop-up to match your branding. You can usually adjust colors, you can adjust fonts, and adjust layout. So upload any images or logos that will make the pop-up stand out more effectively. So don't forget to grab a compelling message that aligns with what you're promoting or announcing. What I'm going to be doing here is to try to do exactly the same colors that I do have available into my store. Which in this case, the background color should be something like this. And now I can change the color of my titles like this. This is the part where you wanted to set up the pop-up triggers and the challenge you To configure the triggers for your pop-up, you can set it to appear after someone has been into a side or into a specific amount of time or when they're about to leave. So advantage settings might include targeting specific pages, devices, or even customer segments. So lastly, what you need to do, of course, is to publish and test your pop-up. So here's going to be asking us to activate the sales kit extension directly into the theme that you're currently using inside Shopify. So if I hit directly into the option that says install, it should be sending me directly into the editor of Shopify. And here, I just wanted to make sure that it's going to be inside app embeds and enable the sale kit. And it's going to be looking like this. So if you like what you're seeing in here, what I want to do is to hit now into save. And there we go. So I'm going to just go back and hit now directly into the pop-up section. You can see that we have now the pop-up section here into the Quickify. So as you can see, we can track here the analytics, how many impressions that we have, how many people clicked into this actual pop-up, and you can add much more elements as you're getting started with. So that will be actually it. So I'm gonna go directly into my online store, and I'm gonna test if the pop-up appears after the two seconds that we are inside here. And as you can see, it is actually appearing. And we're actually good to go. 
So as you can see, it is not that hard to get started with the Shopify applications. The best solution for all of these elements is to add, of course, applications that come helping you with the third-party stuff, and you can do so much more with the Shopify App Store. So guys, that is actually it. You have now added the custom pop-up to your Shopify store in a very easy, easy way. So, it's going to be helping us to boost engagement and conversions, guys, of course. If you find this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more Shopify tips. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, we can all see you into a new video of TechRest. See you next time.